everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Here we are in Antarctica. Unfortunately, it's too cold to take out one of the cars right now. As you can see here, the whole thing is ice. I think I'm on water right now. <laughs> this whole lake is, is huge and it's freezing over. But yeah, I would not recommend taking any of the cool cars out here because our compound tires and anything below, I think like 30 or 40 degrees, they'll start to crack and fracture. You, you, you don't want to do that. But hey, being away from the cars in the cold has got me thinking. I've got a pretty revolutionary idea idea for a build that no one's quite thought about yet. It'll be uh, groundbreaking revolutionary. I call it the E06. I think this is going to work well with our new Raptor R. Uh, update on that in the next video. Let's get back to the cabin. Oh God. You guys hear that? Is it? What was that? Ah! <laughs> Ah! All right, here we go. You guys have all seen the latest news online of new cars coming out, such as the E-Ray. What if, what if we combined what the E-Ray has with the Z06? Then if you consider the power output of an electric motor sitting up front towards the front axle, that would give us instantly an extra 160 horsepower and 125 pound-feet of torque. Consider that power output with a naturally aspirated V8. There's no other car out there that has that combination. The only hybrid supercars that we're seeing right now are the Arturas and the 296 GTBs. Even the NSX is out, it's gone. But another example is the uh, SF90. That has a V8, right? But it's not uh, naturally aspirated. If you could blend the e-motor with the naturally aspirated engine, Engine, you could get north of 700 horsepower, actually no, north of 800 horsepower, fully naturally aspirated with electric power. It makes you think, why did Chevy make the E-Ray the way they did with the LT2? They could be saving and paving the way for a new future. They're not quite ready for it yet. However, when they drop the news, the bombshell of a LT6 with electric power and even turbos on top of that, that's just gonna change everything. The problem we're facing right now is that so many other cars are uh, progressing very fast. 296, an entry level Ferrari, and it has over 800 horsepower. If Chevy put the e-motor with the Z06, that would have made an 800 horsepower car, wouldn't it? Here's the thought process I wanna look into. I'm gonna to try to find out exactly how much money these motors cost. If you really look at it, there is the space right now in the Z06 for that motor up front. Chevy designed these Corvettes, the chassis, to be ready for every different variation in the future. They've planned out every single model since years back. We don't only have the space for the e-motor up front, we also, we also have all the cooling pipes, all the space for the batteries. The only thing that we would be missing, other than actually having the components, is getting the ECU, which what if you did get the ECU, tune it with the uh, Z06 motor, what's, what's stopping you from having the electric power up front. It's not actually being used with the rear wheel drive power. It's fully separated. All that you're doing is when you give throttle, when the batteries have juice, they will apply that juice to the front tires or wheels to spin them. Therefore, the engine and the transmission out back have no bearing on the front of the car. It's all independent, it's all electronic. You could, you could probably tune it so that you can install the battery up front. It's not a huge battery system that goes inside the center tunnel. It's actually very easy to get to. If you just raise up the Z06, you'll see a tunnel underneath that has a bunch of these different screws or bolts. Just unscrew it and then you have a huge hollow tunnel just there, ready to go for the E-Ray batteries. Um, also, we have that space up front. There are a few down signs when I really think about it. I kind of have an idea why Chevy might have made the E-Ray the way they did. 
being that it doesn't have the flat plane crank engine, it's got the normal pushrod engine, they wanted the Z06 to stay rear wheel drive. If we could find a way to get these electric batteries and this electric motor up front, yeah, it would probably push the weight distribution a bit forward a little bit. Since uh, electric motor's up front, it'll be spinning the front tires and that would make an effect on the track driving style you would get with the Z06. Also, if the batteries run low on juice, then you won't get the horsepower out of it. There is special programming the E-Ray has where you can hit a button and it'll try to savor that power by I think not using all of it you would essentially be getting what I think the P1 offers. I had the unbelievable chance to actually go in a McLaren P1 and ride in it. What I noticed with the car is that you can drive it in two different modes. One mode has the electric motors always helping out. Then there's another mode where you can only use the electric power with a button on the steering wheel, effectively giving you the fast and furious boost <laughs> that you see online. Imagine if we tuned it like that to make it easier. You put it inside and like you just find a button and you tune it together. Whereas on a straightaway, you hit the button and then it'll give you the extra 160 horsepower for acceleration then if you don't want all the extra power let go of the button and then go into the corners with the progressive 670 horsepower straight away you're ready to go button down full boost from the front tires that would be a great way to tune in the all-wheel drive system whereas it's a rear-wheel drive car mainly on the racetrack but when you want the extra power or the extra grip on the front tires hit a button on the steering wheel oh my gosh this is genius this is genius Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What if we created an E06? Don't worry, I'm gonna be uh, pricing things out when we can ASAP, so stay tuned. Tuning something like that would be a, a, a lot of fun. Please let me know your thoughts again. If you did combine the uh, power of the electric motor with the LT6, you would be getting again uh, 830 horsepower. That is 670 uh, crank horsepower with the Z06 plus 160, you would be getting, in the end of the day, 585 pound-feet of torque, which is a good boost. With the ZR1, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be twin turbo with the LT6, you're gonna keep it rear-wheel drive again. And then for the final send-off, it just makes sense for them to put in the electric motor and have the turbos everything put together because you would make even more than 830 horsepower probably over 900 close to a thousand that'd be a great thing to do i have a concern though a uh, weight weight it will get added especially if we put in the electric motor and electric batteries in the z06 it would be getting close to a 4,000 pound car if not more that does hinder performance no matter what anyone says the more weight you put in the car the more it will affect performance definitely for corners that makes sense zr1 turbo Zora EV plus turbo. I mean, this is gonna look crazy. This is such a fun day out here today. Having Thor and Rambo out here. These two guys are fantastic. Thor, he seems like he is made for this kind of weather. Rambo is the same breed that you would see with a uh, canine unit or in the military. He's a mix of a Belgian Malinois and a German Shepherd. So he, <laughs> he doesn't like this area too, too much. Look at this one. This is huge. This is like a weapon, right? Look at that. Alrighty, well one last question to finish off this video. Well, what do you think, is all-wheel drive the way to go? Or should we kind of stay away from that? Is all-wheel drive what you like on track? To me, rear-wheel drive is like the perfect sweet spot for track performance. You can get really good rotation into corners with rear-wheel drive. Uh, with all-wheel drive sometimes, but depending on the car, you could get push and understeer, which that's a concern of mine for future variants like the E-Ray. Let me know, wh wh what do you think? Jeez. <laughs> the snow is so deep. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button to help me out and subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. I'm going to be on the lookout for any enemy attackers out here. It's always fun. See you guys in the garage in the next one. Oh, also, Raptor R. It's coming.